Okay, we're going to create a DIN spline. We'll click on the spline icon and we'll change the standard to DIN. And then we'll scroll down and change the module from 2 to 3. And then we'll change the number of teeth to 24, which brings up a message box. So we have two options on reference diameters. Select yes for 75, 78, select no. And now we'll change the face width to 100. And then we're going to insert the mating internal spline. And we'll just accept the, the values. GearTech automatically matches the spline with the existing one. And we'll change the deviation from G to J and the tolerance grade to number 6. And then if we want, we can look at the deviation chart, which shows how those two splines are mating together. That's that simple.